So I just I just got tired of getting pimped on. So you went to another pimp? No, that, or I you went, just quit? No, I went to the Nation of Islam. Okay. I was looking for wow. God. Okay. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But if you love Kenny Red so much, why did you leave him? Why did I leave him? Because I got tired of getting pimped on in cold, chilly blood. Like I said, sometimes you stop eating steak because it's not healthy for you. You start eating chicken or eating fish. That don't mean you hate the steak. So I just I just got tired of getting pimped on. So you went to another pimp? No, that, or I you went, just quit? No, I went to the Nation of Islam. Okay. I was looking for wow. God. Okay. So you went to the nation. You started going to like like Juma services? I was going to MGT classes. I was going to the uh, meetings. Why the nation and not just Christianity no, or any I other one? Because I'm a queen and I just wanted to know who I okay. was. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, Christianity equals slavery. To okay. me. You okay. know what I'm saying? And um, Explain that. Because that's how they, 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 they kept slaves in check. You know, I get it. I'm not gonna go there with you because yeah, because you when you start talking about politics, yeah, and, uh, and religion, and religion, yeah, man, it, it's, a t- it's a touchy I might subject. Have to, yeah, it's a touchy cause because because at the end of the day, you just it's it's the way you're taught. If you taught a certain way, and, and, and like you like to be led, I see what you're saying. You like to be led by what you believe in, and and if you're believing in it, there should be a structure around and a culture of people that's going to lead you in the right direction. And so you're saying that whole culture and the way that it's being taught and the way you understand it causes you to be in slavery. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You took the words right out of my mouth. Are you are still a Muslim right now? Um, no, I don't claim no nothing. No, no. I'm just a child of the king. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a spiritual child of God. I don't want to be in no category. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I've done it. I've been to the synagogue. I've been to the mosque. I've been to the church house, you know, and I have a relationship with God personally myself. I like that. And that's all that counts. And that's really what counts is when you have a, it's between you and God. And I think a lot of times people can't live with that. They so quick to, to say this or say that because they're trying to figure out a way to cover up their insecurity and their belief. Right. So for, for, for you to believe a certain way doesn't make me feel no less of a person than what I believe in when you're mature. But most people are immature, so they can't figure out how to deal with you because of how you feel about God because they don't trust what they feel and believe. Well, they need to read Joshua chapter yeah. 2. <laughs> they need to read Joshua chapter 2 and read about Rahab because yeah. I'm the modern day Rahab. Man. Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.